Hello everyone, welcome back in this new video where we are going to do the comparative cost analysis between these three different types of footing for the materials as steel and concrete using these spreadsheets. And at the end of this video, you will come to know which one is the more economical and which one is the more costly. So for better understanding, watch the video till the end. Now, first of all, try to understand the problem statement. So here actually we have to do the comparative cost analysis between the pad, stepped and trapezoidal footings for the given design schedule that we have seen earlier. And the rates of the material we have to consider as 4500 per unit volume of your concrete and for the steel we have to consider as 80 rupees per kg. Using this first excel sheet, we are going to calculate the cost of the reinforcement and the most important thing that we have to remember while using this excel sheet we have to edit the value in yellow cells only. Don't try to edit the value in white cells. Now come back to our excel sheet. So the first type of footing we are going to consider when you take your cursor here and when you click over this uh, cell. So drop down is, is there to decide the type of footing. So first footing we are going to take as pad footing and the length of the footing is what. So we will look at the schedule. So for the first footing uh, which one is the pad footing. So here the length of the footing is 3100 and width of the footing is 2750 mm. So that you can see in elevation or section detail also. Okay. So like uh, uh, length is 3100 and width is 2750. Come back to your excel sheet. So length is what? 3100 and uh, width is what? Actually 2750. So this is your width. What is the total depth of the footing? So come back to your schedule and let's check. So total depth of the footing is what? 800. That also you can see in the sectional uh, elevation it is what? 800. Go back to your excel sheet and put here as 800. Once you put this 800 then you have to put the reinforcement. So what reinforcement is there along the length of the footing along the width of the footing. So go back to your schedule again and uh, the length like uh, reinforcement along the width is 16 mm diameter of bar at a spacing of 150 and along the length 16 mm diameter of bar at a spacing of 150 in both of the direction same reinforcements are there so go back to your sheet and uh, here the drop down list is, uh, list is there to decide the diameter of bar so it is 16 at a spacing of how much it is i think 150 so just uh, drop down list is, uh, list is there to decide the spacing of the uh, reinforcement so 150 is there. Now here also 16 at 150 in both of the direction it is same and uh, uh, sheet will automatically calculate the number of bars required along the length of the footing along the width of the footing. So here it is 19 here along the width is 21. Now the dimension of uh, different uh, direction of the bar here it is calculated. Okay the cutting length will be calculated by the sheet itself. Uh, total length in this particular direction of uh, length of the footing calculated by the sheet itself uh, weight uh, total weight required for this total length were calculated by the sheet itself uh, along the length along the width it is what uh, 132.28 the sum of this total weight for the length and for the width uh, is 262.46 how many number of footings are so that you can write here suppose here we are dealing what uh, only uh, single footings are for each footing there is a for each type of footing is only one okay but if you are going to deal any real life project where there are so many number of footings of the same section size and of the same reinforcement in that case you can write here as the number like four number of footings five number of footings seven number of footings so whatever the number of footing that you can write and the sheet will multiply this number with the total weight of unit footing. So you will get total weight here. Finally total weight 262.46. And the rate of uh, reinforcement that we have given as 80 rupees per kg. So that I am going to put here as 80 rupees per kg. So the cost of the one footing will be for the reinforcement only uh, 20,997.06 rupees. Okay. So this is the cost of... Uh, pad footing come back to next uh, as stepped footing once you click over the stepped footing so what it will become the same section size of the footing is there in plan so that is what 3100 and 2750 okay go back to your sheet 3100 
and width is what 2750 okay 2750 it is okay here what depth of the footings are so that we have to write here just go back and let's check uh, what depth of the footing so two depths of footings are for the stepped footing first step is 400 another step is 400 so look at this you have to put as first step only you have to put the depth for the first step only so here i am going to put here as 400 first step is what 400 suppose it is sometimes uh, in some design if you are getting okay total depth is 800 first depth is 200 next depth is what 600 so in that case you have to put here as only 200 remember that here you have to put as only for the first step depth while using this excel sheet so i am going to put here as 400 okay already here it is 4 so i am going to put as 400 and diameter of bar it is what 16 mm diameter of bar of 150 okay here it is also same 16 mm diameter of bar of 150 got it so uh, for this the calculation will be there and uh, one number of footing is there and uh, uh, rate for the reinforcement is what 80 rupees per kg that i am going to put here 80 so it is going to become 16951.62 rupees okay now come back to the third type of footing that i am going to put here as slope the footing size of footing is same 3100 and 2750 and depth of the footing at the edge so go back to your detail and schedule so here at the edge what depth is there a 200 as i told you at the edge of the footing what depth is available that you have to put there so here two depths are available means d1 is a 200 and d2 next depth is what 650 total depth is what 850 i think yeah it is 850 so go back and we have to put only as 200 and uh, diameter of bar is same 16 here also is same uh, 16 uh, change it to 16 and it will be what 150 uh, it will be again 150 okay and uh, uh, respective calculation will be will be done by the sheet itself uh, and uh, what rate is there so 80 rupees per kg is there so the third footing is having the cost of 14928.91 so this is the cost of uh, this sloped footing now we are having the uh, sloped footing only for the reinforcement remember so for the pad footing the reinforcement cost is 20000 something and for the stepped footing cost of reinforcement is 16000 something and for the sloped footing the cost of reinforcement is 14928 remember now we have to do the calculation for the concrete cost of the concrete what volume of the concrete is there for each individual footing and accordingly what will be the cost of uh, concrete so we are going to use this spreadsheet second spreadsheet but uh, it is important for you all to know uh, how to use this spreadsheet so remember that here you have to choose the type of footing so whether it will be stepped footing sloped footing pad footing so that you have to decide from this drop down list so if the pad footing is there so no need to put these dimensions at d2 and uh, size of the footing at top along the length size of footing at top along the width uh, so that's why it will automatically will be black so you don't need to worry about these cells see i'm going to change here i'm going to change it to what slope the footing so what it will be automatically like suppose i'm going to make it as pad footing so pad footing automatically it will be black but if it is slope the footing so it will be white and you have to put the values here and accordingly you will have the values in your schedule so should in schedule the values will be accordingly you have to put there but if it is pad footing so you don't need to worry about see i am going to change it to what pad so it will automatically will be black you don't need to worry about that okay so you will understand all these things uh, when we will practice uh, for the example okay so here i am going to do i am going to change it to first as pad footing so it is pad so for the pad footing what is the size of footing in plant dimension of the footing 3100 2750 and depth of the footing is what 800 so accordingly the volume of the concrete is going to become what 6.82 and number of footing is how much one number suppose like as similar to that of uh, reinforcement as suppose there are so many number of footings like five number of footing so you have to put as five suppose three number of footings are there so you have to put as three accordingly so total volume 
द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ यूनिट वैल्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ फुटिंग सो यू विल गेट दिस वैल्यू एंड द रेट पर यूनिट वैल्यू ऑफ द कॉन्क्रीट इज वॉट फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड दैट वी हैव गिवन इन आवर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो कॉस्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट फुटिंग एज पैड फॉर द कॉन्क्रीट इज गोइंग टू बिकम वॉट थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड नाइनटी नाउ सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ फुटिंग इज वॉट सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ फुटिंग इज योर स्टेप्ड फुटिंग सो स्टेप्ड फुटिंग इज वॉट इन प्लान डायमेंशन इज सेम फर्स्ट डेप्थ इज फोर हंड्रेड सेकेंड डेप्थ यू हैव टू फुट एज फोर हंड्रेड एंड लेंथ ऑफ द फुटिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वॉट कम बैक टू यूर शीट एंड इट इज वॉट लेंथ ऑफ द फुटिंग एज ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड लुक एट हियर सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट दिस स्पैन दिस स्पैन सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बिकम वॉट अलॉन्ग द लेंथ एज ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड सो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू पुट हियर एज ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड अलॉन्ग द विथ तो वॉट वी हैव गिवन इट इज एक्चुअली हैज गिवन सेवनटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू पुट हियर एज सेवनटीन हंड्रेड एज फिफ्टी सो दिस इज डन एंड वॉल्यूम इज गोइंग टू बिकम दिस वन एंड नंबर ऑफ फुटिंग इज ऑनली वन and total volume will become this one and the cost is 4500 so that it is going to become 4500 uh, you have to edit it in yellow cells 4500 accordingly the cost of the concrete for the stepped footing 21960 now the third type of footing that we have to take as what a uh, sloped footing so automatically it will become white it means that we had to put the value uh, some value there according to your schedule uh, and design result so just click over the schedule slope the footing so 3100 2750 and uh, depth of the footing at its edge it is what uh, go back to your schedule and let's see d1 200 means at the edge of the footing it is 200 and the remaining depth that is becoming what 850 minus 200 so that is actually given in your schedule 650 so that i am going to put here as 650 got it and uh, size at the top of the footing so go back to your uh, schedule so projection on each side of the footing from the column like 100 mm is there so along the length uh, what size we have given along the length l1 and b1 along the length for the slope of the footing 800 along the width uh, it is 430 mm go back to your schedule and here it is what for the slope of the footing a uh, size at the top along the length is 800 and along the width is it is 430 volume of the concrete here it is required 3.998 here see for the pad footing this 6.8 and uh, for the stepped footing is 4.8 and uh, for the sloped footing it is 4.3.9 .3 now number of footing is 1 now multiply it by this volume so you will get 3.998 and this value you have to multiply with the cost of uh, concrete per unit volume so that is what 4500 this is done now multiply these two things you will get what 17989 rupees the cost of the concrete for your sloped footing got it so we are having the cost of pad footing for the concrete cost of concrete for your stepped footing cost of concrete for your sloped footing Now to do the comparative cost analysis, so we need to add the cost of reinforcement for this pad footing and the cost of concrete for this pad footing. Then we have to add the cost of the reinforcement for stepped footing, and we have to uh, add with it uh, uh, the cost of uh, concrete for the stepped footing. And again, we have to do the same thing for the sloped footing that we have to add. Re cost of reinforcement and cost of the concrete okay now in the conclusion of this entire study we are getting that the cost of pad footing including of cost of steel and concrete we are getting the total cost of this footing as 51688 and the cost of stepped footing including of both of the materials here it is what 38912 rupees and likewise the cost of sloped footing including of both materials the total cost is becoming as 32919 so overall if you are looking here so your pad footing is most costlier than that of your stepped and sloped footing but when you are going to compare your pad and stepped footing so we are getting that uh, your stepped footing is uh, 24.72% more economical than that of your pad footing okay and if you are going to compare your slope footing and pad footing so we are getting that 
your sloped footing is 36.31% more economical than that of your pad footing. So overall summary is what your sloped footing is most economical after that uh, in comparison of pad and stepped, stepped footing is more economical and your pad footing is most costlier type of footing.